Hi, I'm Katherine Schultz. I'm the author of Being Wrong, Adventures in the Margin of Error. One thing this book does, in a way, is give us permission to be what we already are, which is fallible. I sometimes joke that this is a book that was written for everybody's spouse and everybody's boss, because when I tell people that I wrote a book about being wrong, inevitably they say, oh, I'm going to buy that for my husband, or, oh, I wish I could get a copy for my boss. Uh, but I actually think that, um, quite sincerely, I think that this is a book for everyone. No matter who you are and what you do, being wrong, dealing with your errors, dealing with other people's errors, dealing with their defensiveness. This is a daily part of all of our lives. Boy, if there's one thing we want to be right about, it is the person we fall in love with. And in general, the people around us. We all think we have excellent judgment about other people. For the most part, many of us do. But inevitably, like all kinds of judgment, it can fail us. That said, we're also sometimes wrong about people in the other direction, which is really wonderful. I hear stories of people who misjudged someone thinking they were not a good person and turned around and fell in love with them, or thought someone was acting as their enemy who proved to be a really strong ally. So you hear really amazing stories about just being absolutely convinced that your perception of another human being is dead-on accurate, and then coming to realize that, whoa, you were off by miles. There's an incredibly long-standing, entrenched idea within the realm of politics that a real leader is never going to cop to being wrong, and that, in fact, if they do, all hell will break loose. The idea that admitting one's errors or admitting fallibility or even being able to fathom that you might be wrong and that some other political position might have some point and some merit is really anathema in politicians. Now, personally, I find this inexplicable. I think we've all had the experience of watching someone stand up and acknowledge wrongdoing and realizing that it looks like an act of unbelievable strength. When people are able to do that, it is graceful, it is honorable, it suggests a kind of broader security that is re quite reassuring, actually. And it also suggests a real willingness to take responsibility and to look at the world for what it is. By contrast, when we see people who are rigidly unwilling to acknowledge any mistake whatsoever, we usually find that it looks pretty unimpressive, that those people look stubborn and either too insecure to acknowledge that they could have gotten something wrong, or too arrogant to believe that they did, or simply too wedded to one belief system about the world to kind of turn their head even a little bit and acknowledge that there's, there might be some problems with it. Our beliefs are one of the things that bind us most closely to our communities. And as a result, it becomes very, very hard for some people to look critically at their beliefs because there's a fear, and some of it is justified, that if they permit even the smallest doubt to creep in about their belief system, that they're going to have some real repercussions. You know, in a situation like Congress, where there's explicit and overt pressure to toe the party line, there's not a lot of incentive to be the outlier and to stand up and say, no, you know, I'm going to think this through for myself, and on this issue, I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to toe the party line. I don't agree with this. I've thought it through for myself, and I'm doing my own thing. I turned 30, and some friends threw a surprise birthday party for me. I'm very hard to surprise, as a rule. And they absolutely nailed it and floored me. And I, I had had a whole elaborate theory about what I thought was going to happen that night, and it was completely wrong. And that was my moment of insight that sometimes being wrong about the world is deeply pleasurable. Having our expectations upturned, having something happen that we didn't expect, is vastly more fun and interesting and exciting than having the thing we predicted come to pass.